Hi, everyone. My name is Diane Whitley, and I work at Park to High Park Early on Child and Family Center. I'm the office administrator, and for today, we're going to be sharing some baby circle time songs and rhymes. Oh, hi, my name is Christian Morgan. I'm a family support worker, and uh, yeah, glad to be here. And hi, my name is Glenda Diaz. I am also a family support worker and I work at the same center. Awesome. So we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna do um, songs and rhymes for, for babies that are they're geared towards babies. And uh, just a note, Glenda and I are gonna take turns with singing, um, even though we're really good at harmonizing. <laughs> it just doesn't work on, on this platform. So, uh, so we're gonna take turns. So here we go. We're going to go with, uh, we'll start with the more we get together. Now there's a few signs. So this is the sign for more. Uh, this is the sign for together. This is the sign for happy. And you got to make sure that you're smiling when you do that. And then your friends are my friends. And here we go. The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. <laughs> and if we had a bunch of people here, we'd go through and get everybody's names, but it's just us. <laughs> And then the next one we're going to do is called Love My Baby. So this one we sing Love My Baby, Yes I Do. Um, and then we have actions that we're going to do. We're going to do a big hug, a big kiss, and a big tickle. And just a reminder, anytime for any of the songs that we're going to do today, if it has the word baby, feel free to use your baby's name. They start to associate that's who they are. So it goes, Love my baby, yes I do. Love my baby, yes I do. Love my baby, yes I do. And I'm gonna give a big hug to you. Love my baby, yes I do. Love my baby, yes I do. Love my baby, yes I do. And I'm gonna give a big kiss to you. Love my baby, yes I do. Love my baby, yes I do. Love my baby, yes I do. And I'm gonna give a big tickle to you. <laughs> it's good to pause right before the song and then the older that they get they learn to anticipate something's coming i know something's gonna happen the tickle's coming yep <laughs> all right we've got what's next here is a head bumper song so this is a song that identifies body parts which is always fun to explore with babies so we're gonna point to the different body parts and uh I guess a gully, gully, gully is your stomach. It's a weird identification, but, <laughs> but it's part of the song. We'll just sing it. So here we go. Head bumper, eye blinker, nose blower, mouth eater, chin chomper, gully, gully, gully. Head bumper, eye blinker. Nose blower, mouth eater, chin chomper, gully, gully, gully. <laughs> also, I just love the melody of that one. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> The next one we're gonna do is called Rocking Chair. So this little rhyme, we're gonna pretend that we're rocking back and forth in a chair. Um, so it goes, I love to rock in my rocking chair. I rock and I rock and I just don't care. I rock around the block in my underwear 
and I rock back home to my rocking chair. <laughs> and I know That's it's a little bit silly, but it's a great way to introduce new vocabulary words to children. Also, local poet. Yep. I gotta <laughs> keep using those those local artists. So here, here's a arms across. So this is done to the tune of London Bridge, you know, the one that's falling down. Um, and this one, you're going to be gently crossing baby's arms across and apart, and legs, same with the legs. And of course, you know, if your baby's not into it, that's fine. Don't don't like be like, come on, arms. <laughs> don't want to force that. Um, and then you get to kiss the baby. It's great. So here we go. Arms across and arms apart. Arms across, arms apart. Arms across and arms apart. Kiss the baby. Then we get our legs. Here we go. Legs across and legs apart. Legs across, legs apart. Legs across and legs apart. Kiss the baby. <laughs> Should we do it again? It's pretty short. Let's do it again. Get our arms. Let's go. It's good to give your babies exercise, right? You gotta do the exercise. Arms across and arms apart. Arms across, arms apart. Arms across and arms apart. Kiss the baby. Then legs, here we go. Legs across and legs apart. Legs across, legs apart. Legs across and legs apart. Kiss the baby. The next one we're going to do. So this one, you can do it as a song or as a rhyme. So I am going to do it as a rhyme. So we start with. So again, with this one, you're pointing to your baby's um, body parts or you can do it on yours so that they can see uh, what's happening. So for this one, it starts with on my foot. So I know you can't see, but I have my own It's hand. down there. It's on my foot, so it goes on my foot. There is a flea. Now he's climbing up on me, past my belly and past my nose on my head where my hair grows on my head there is a flea now he's climbing down on me past my belly and past my knee on my foot take that you flea <laughs> dastardly flea <laughs> uh i'll try it one more time so it goes, on my foot, there is a flea, and now he's climbing up on me, past my belly, and past my nose, on my head, where my hair grows. On my head, there is a flea, now he's climbing down on me, past my belly, and past my knee on my foot take that you flea <laughs> <laughs> get them yep oh this is put your shoes on baby i'm happy i get to do this one i, I i'm used to doing the, the put your shoes on lucy which is uh it's an actual old timey song <laughs> mm -hmm. From long ago, and it's been adapted, and I've never seen this version before, so I'm excited about this. Um, so it'll be my first time through it. <laughs> but uh, 
this is exciting because like we're doing different things than what we would do normally with the put your shoes on boosties now we're putting pants on the baby we're putting shirt on the baby so this has become a real song that you can do while you're getting your baby dressed um, but you might not want to start with your shoes just saying <laughs> so here we go i'll sing through it and it's it's it seems pretty repetitive but uh well not really but we're just going to go through it once Put your shoes on, baby, don't you know you're in the city? Put your shoes on, baby, it really is a pity. A baby can't go barefoot wherever you go because you like to feel the wiggle of your toes. Put your pants on, baby, don't you know you're in the city? Put your pants on, baby, it really is a pity. Baby can't go naked wherever you please because you like to feel the knocking of your knees. Put your shirt on, baby, don't you know you're in the city? Put your shirt on, baby, it really is a pity that baby can't go naked whenever it's sunny because you like to see the giggling of your tummy. It's gotten a lot sillier. <laughs> but it's such a nice, silly song. And then you can do the actions, like the wiggle of your toes, the wiggling in your tummy, and just do a tickle. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. So the next one we're going to do is five little pumpkins. So this is a little rhyme that we do. So you can get five. So you can do the actions. Or if your baby wants to, you can always do the actions hand over hand with them. So it goes, five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we're not scared. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, we're ready for some fun. So went the wind and out went the lights and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight <laughs> i know and there's different versions usually like i think we did another one where the the pumpkin said different uh things so there's no right not much different no not i think much. it's like instead of scared they don't care or something like that right yeah yeah. yeah, but it's sometimes, you know, and sometimes I know that we get stuck on, we have to know them. You can always make up the actions to the, that the five little pumpkins are doing. Yeah. Uh, Rafi does a good job with this one too. I like yeah. that one. Yeah. Okay, here we are with Sailing, Sailing. This is kind of a lullaby, kind of just a sweet song, you know. Um, but uh, it's also a good one to get people's attention, we find in group. <laughs> sometimes we'll start with this song. And it goes like this. Sailing, sailing over the water. Sailing, sailing over the sea. Sailing, sailing over the ocean. Sail back home to me. <laughs> One more time. It's pretty short. Let's do it one more time. Sailing, sailing over the water. Sailing, sailing over the sea. Sailing, sailing over the ocean. Sail back home to And this is a really great one. I mean, you know, sometimes we feel that lullabies need to be long. You can really sing the same short lullaby over and over. And the calmer you are, the calmer baby will be as well. The other day we were out at, um, we went to see the Scarborough Blocks. And I, I got to tell you, it's a bit of a drive. <laughs> but when we were there, although the bluffs are beautiful and all that, I was looking out on Lake Ontario and there's so many sailboats. It was a very like windy day. It was a 
beautiful day for sailing. And that, that song just made me think of that wonderful view. <laughs> So this one is our last one. So we always like to start and end, you know, creating a routine is really important. Um, so for example, if your baby knows it's nap time or you know that it's nap time, you can always do the same song to get ready for nap time and then a song that helps put them down for nap time. So you'll notice whenever we do circle time, we always start with a welcoming song and then we always try to end with a goodbye song. So this one goes, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Sometimes that's hard. Sometimes that's hard. Have a safe journey. Have a safe journey. We'll see you next time. See you next time. So thank you for joining us and we will see you next time. Thanks and goodbye. <laughs>